There are over 6,000 languages in the world. Mandarin Chinese and Spanish are the world's most common first languages. And for about 370 million people, English is their first language. But for most people around the world, English is neither a first or second language. Even in a city like London, English is sometimes a second or possibly a third or fourth language of many of the residents. But it is estimated that one out of four people worldwide speak English with some degree of competence. And as a result, English is often used as a common language of international communication. For example, it's been the mandated language of international aviation since 2008. English was chosen in an attempt to avoid any misunderstandings between international flight crews and air traffic controllers. While the English language is derived from an historic variety of languages, by and large, native English speakers are poor at learning other languages. As a result, many native English speakers grow up never having got to grips with a second language. But in some countries, like South Africa and India, while English isn't the first language of most of the population, It's widely used as the language of education, science, commerce, and the internet. But English coexists with many native languages. English is just one of South Africa's 11 official languages. Nearly a quarter of the population of 50 million people speak Zulu as their first language and another 20% speak Kosa. Afrikaans is the third biggest first language. About 13% of the population speak Afrikaans. A very similar language to Dutch. English is the first language of only 8% of the population. But over 45% of people speak it as a second language and to communicate with speakers of other languages. South Africa uses English as the main language of business, politics and the media. All students in South Africa have to learn English at school. Today, there are a lot of English words used in languages like Zulu and Kosa. But many words from these languages are also incorporated into South African English, enriching all the languages. But the prevalence of English as a growing global language has some problematic implications too. There have been accusations of linguicide levelled against English. The sheer dominance of the English language is literally killing minority languages. In some countries, there are no longer any native speakers of many local languages. And, with no one to pass it on to the next generation, the language dies. This has already happened to many of the indigenous languages of the Native American Indians in North America. But it's unlikely that anything can stop the continued expansion of the English language in the short term. 
and with the influence of globalization and the internet, it is very likely that the dominance of English will continue, at least for the foreseeable future.